Uh, once again, fellas, welcome back here. This is uh, Charles Tyler doing my every so often tutorials in life and in particularly about Brazil and you know what life is like in Brazil and particularly today's topic is going to be about dealing with and having a relationship with a Brazilian woman and Brazilian women, Afro-Brazilian women, Hispanic Brazilian women, you know, etc. Okay. And what I wanted to cover was a couple of things that a lot of people have been sending me emails about, you know, getting in contact with me about, about what, how, what's the difference between Brazilian women and American women. That's one. Two, and, you know, the misconceptions of Brazilian women. Okay. And, you know, I just wanted to get to a couple of those points here in this video. And, you know, you know, quite give it a, you know, brothers a couple of breakdowns. If they happen to take my challenge on. And go to Brazil and deal with a Brazilian woman. Okay, all right. And I hope those brothers will take that challenge. Trust me, it's a life-changing thing and a totally different ball game down there. Okay, so you know what? You know the main questions I got is, you know, are Brazilian women similar to American women? Well, be the fact I've dealt with both. Okay, relationship-wise. I would have to say, no, there is a difference, okay, all right, Brazilian women are more attached to their culture, and they believe that a man should lead the household, and I'm not trying to make this sound like that we have to dominate our women, now, now do I want to be with a woman who's a slave, because I get that all the time from African American women, oh, you go to Brazil because you're looking for a slave and anything like that, no. No, I go to Brazil for many reasons, and not looking for a, looking for a slave is definitely not one of them. Okay, and you know my thing is this: Brazilian American women talk down on Brazilian women so badly because they know that Brazilian women got them badly. Looks, attitude, okay, how they carry themselves, all right, the whole nine. All right, everything that a black man is these days is losing in the African American woman, the Brazilian Afro Brazilian women and the Brazilian women in general have. Okay, no attitude. Okay, don't hoard the sex. All right, use sex as a weapon against us instead of you know using it as a way to you know alleviate the stress between us and show our love between each other. Okay, Brazilian women are very passionate. And they wear their feelings on their sleeves. Now, I also get the thing is, okay, well, you know, uh, prostitution is legal and real in Brazil. You know what? That's true. All right? And it, are, and it is those, you know, those aspects down there. There are those women down there. Those women of the night, they are down there. Okay? But it's kind of different from the women of the night here in the U.S. All right? The women of the night down there, they do it because... They are basically trying to get that pretty woman syndrome, is what I call it. All right? You know, they don't want to deal with Brazilian men. Okay? All right, a lot of them don't want to deal with Brazilian men. So they go on to the foreign men, and yes, some, they, you know, some way they have, okay, they want to get some money out the deal. But also, like I said, these women wear their feelings on their sleeves. And in some cases, they wind up falling in love with their so-called quote-unquote John, okay? And, you know, I've heard many cases of women down in Brazil meeting men on that trick tip, all right, falling in love, and then going on to marry that person and have basically a pretty good life, maybe in another country, maybe there in Brazil, okay? Now, what it is right is I noticed that a lot of Euros, okay, I'm talking of the British, the Germans, the Swedish, okay, the Dutch, they're all coming into Brazil and they're taking our Afro-Brazilian women. That bothers me, okay? That's why I challenge brothers, all right? Those are our women down there, okay? All right, that's our sisters from Africa, all right? They're only dealing with them white boys because they're the ones coming down there. We're the smallest minority going into Brazil. Okay, African-American men. Yet, I've been told that that 
the Brazilian women are waiting for us. But we're not getting down there. So many excuses. Okay? Whether you're listening to the Matrix, the people in the Matrix telling you that going to Brazil is a bad thing. Okay? Whether you can't get your passport. All right? Or if you got a passport, you're finding that getting the Brazilian visa is too tedious. Okay, that's all it is. It's tedious getting the, Brazilian, getting the visa. The passport is the hard thing. Okay? Or getting the money. Alright? I try to attack those excuses. I try to help brothers. And or any brother who contacts me, I'm all my, my, my phone is always open. My Facebook page is always open. My Skype page is always open. Any questions you need to know on how to get down there. Alright? I always open to let you know. Because those 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 Afro-Brazilians, those Hispanic Brazilians, those are our sisters. Okay? And these these white boys are coming over there from Australia, coming over there from Germany, coming over there from Brit, from Great Britain, all right, Holland, Sweden, all right, Switzerland. They are coming in there and they're grabbing up our women. They're grabbing up our women. They're grabbing up our source, okay, all right. And I feel some kind of way about that. I feel as if we need to come down to Brazil, all right, break from the matrix, all right. And find some love. Okay, yes, you might find it on a trick tip. Okay? Alright? But I guarantee you a lot of these women aren't tricks. They're just looking for a good man. And sometimes they settle for white men. They don't really want to be with a white man. I've heard a lot of Brazilian women told me that. But they're like, well, they're the only ones coming down here. We don't want to be, we want to be with foreign men. We much rather be with an African American man. All right, but not enough of them are coming down here. Okay? And I would like to challenge brothers once again. Break from the matrix. Come on down here. Find yourself a fine-ass good woman. Okay? All right, because they're more than just looks. These women, they know how to cook. They know how to keep a clean house. All right? You know, not saying that I'm looking for that old-fashioned woman mentality. All right? But... These women are deep in sensuality as far as being a woman. Something that is missing here in the U.S. Something that's slipping away here in the U.S. With African American women and even American women in general. We have, we, American, America is, is basically connected into a feminist society. Okay, to where basically the women are dominating the men. Okay, to a point where I heard, I had a little clip I had actually uh, put on um, Facebook here, on my Facebook group, where a woman got caught cheating on her man, or, you know, they tricked her on the radio show, all right, she got caught cheating with someone she worked with, you know, at her job, her man gets on there and say, what the hell, who you, who is such and such and such, you know, do you think that she would humble herself because she got caught, do you think that she would say, all right, okay, you got me, I'm sorry, honey, we're going to go home, we're going to try to work this out. Okay, no. She felt justified to cheat on that man. Okay, well, I'm paying all the bills anyway. So I give the right to go out who I want to go out with. Wait a minute, you're my wife. And you're telling me that I have no right, you know, to tell you not to go out with some other man? And just because you might at the time got, me, got, the, got the financial leg up on me, that you have the right to cheat on me? Okay disrespect and disloyalty, okay? And it's something that's starting to become a common trend in the African-American woman and in particularly American women in general, okay? This feminist society has empowered them to dominate the man, to take away the man's rights, all right? My, at my age, I throw my hands up. I don't got time no more, all right? I just can't do it anymore, all right? I'm getting too old for this. So when I tell brothers... You know, drop it. Let's go on down to Brazil. All right. Let's check it out and see what these Brazilian women can offer us. All right. I'm, do, I'm not saying to completely desert the African-American women. There are some good ones out there, but the key word is some, not most. Okay. We're losing our women badly. All right. And I'm just putting up the black option. Okay. The black man's option, and I hate to say, is south of the border. All right, whether it's Ghana, um, Colombia, all right, and you know maybe 
the DR, the Dominican Republic, maybe. But really, get as far away from American culture as you can. Get as far south and try Brazil. Okay? Try Rio de Janeiro for starters, the gateway to Brazil. Okay? You know, you, those women, like I said, they treat men, especially men like us, who are starved for sensuality. Alright? A man like me, I'm, I am energized by a woman's sensuality. Okay? By a woman's who has basically, you know, take pride in being a woman. Not trying to be a man. Okay? Not trying to outdo me in my manhood. Okay? You know, I get turned on by that. Alright? And I fall deeply in love with those women when it's like that. Okay? You know, these women are more than pretty pictures. Okay? They're more than, you know, pretty pictures you might see on the back, you know, on my uh, monologue right here. You know, these, these women are beautiful inside and out. Okay? All right? And when you come down there, try to treat them with respect. Don't treat them like a whore. Okay? You know, don't treat them like, you know, here today and going tomorrow. Alright? You may just might find your wife down there. You may just find, might find your girlfriend down there. I don't know however you want to pull it. Okay? You know, because these women, like I said, they are marriage material. Alright? The key thing is... And probably the most hardest thing is they're very high in loyalty. What they put out as far as loyalty, they expect back. Okay? They don't they can't stand a cheater. Okay. They cannot stand a cheater. And if you get caught, you may more than likely wind up losing that fine woman. Okay. Alright, because um it, it's hard, okay? I will tell you that. I mean, going down to Brazil, going down to Rio de Janeiro, and you're surrounded by, oh, fine-ass women everywhere you go, all right? And you were just with this one fine fine woman, but then you look around the corner, oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, my God, I'm losing my mind, okay? There's fine women everywhere, all right? How can I stay loyal? Oh, let me see here. That's when the maturity level has to come in. Okay? If that woman is treating you the way you want to be treated, the woman that you are with, then stick with her. Okay? Especially, you know, when she's, you know, down there in Brazil. All right? Because they're, like I said, they're very loyal and they will take care of you. All right? But if you turn on them, prepare for a major change. If you get caught cheating on them, oh, it's going to be ugly. All right? You know, them girls will scrap. They scrap for their men, but then they're going to go and probably kick you to the curb for you, for them scrapping for you. Okay? Alright? Because they feel as if they're fine enough, they can find another one. Okay? And you're disloyal enough where they don't want to deal with you. Okay? So, like I said, brothers, come on down. Check out these women. Find out what they're all about. Okay? Treat them with respect. Treat them like the queens that they are. And they will treat you like the king that you are. Okay. And, you know, I feel as if with the coming years coming, with the uh, World Cup in about a couple of months, and the um, the uh, Olympics in, a, in 2016, you know, time's running out. Brothers got to get down there right away. Rio de Janeiro, in particular, is going to get put on the world stage. All right, for the next two years. All right. And it's going to get harder for us to get down there. All right. You know, so I just want to get brothers all together here and get them to, you know, let's do this while we can. Let's get into this source of beautiful women, classy women, all right, while we still can. All right. And I guarantee you, it will definitely change your life. It will change your ways. It changed my ways. Okay? For the better. And, you know, I just really want to share this with a lot of my brothers out here. My Hispanic brothers. My, my African American brothers. The whole nine. You know? Hell, even my white brothers. Okay? Even though y'all get at the back of the bus. Okay? 
But I want them, all us Americans, to come down there and claim what is ours, the Brazilian, Afro-Brazilian sisters, and the Hispanic, Afro, Hispanic, which is, excuse me, the uh, Hispanic um, Brazilian sisters as well. All right? Because we are letting this source slip away from us, and it will be a sad shame that it will be all be gone by the time y'all get down there and they become Americanized or even Europeanized. Okay? You know, so just make that move, brothers. You know, if you need help doing anything you need to make your tr move down to Brazil easier, contact me. I got contacts all over Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, in particular. Uh, um, as a matter of fact, um, starting in November, probably between basically mid-November, I haven't got the exact date. All right, me and Mr. John Thompson from the uh, documentary uh, film Frustrated Black Men in Brazil. All right. We are promoting a big beach party. We don't got the exact date. It's probably going to be a two or three day affair. Affair, all right. It's going to be going on in November. Okay. The women are going to be down there. Music, food, the whole nine. Big old beach party right there in the middle of November. Okay. November. Reason why we picked November because that's the beginning of their summer season down in Brazil. All right. And brothers, we got to get it all together. And we got to get down there for that. We got to one represent, and two, support Mr. John Thompson, okay? All right, I've grown to know Mr. Uh, Mr. John Thompson in the last, uh, last couple, of, i say within the last year or so, all right, year and a half. You know, he's a good brother. You know, real rents for less. It's his business, all right? He rents out rooms, and he rents out apartments, okay? Making it mainly, he wants to bring that market of his to the African American community because he's trying to open up the bridgeway for the brothers to come down there. So let's support Mr. John Thompson in every way we can. He also does um, tourist excursions too. So if you don't happen to rent a room from him or an apartment from him, you can at least take one of his tours, tourist excursions through Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. All right, and you know, I've been on one of them. They're very, very, very fun. Okay, take you all over the country, all over the rainforest, all over Christ the Redeemer statue, Sugarloaf. The whole nine, you know. So I just want y'all brothers to go out there and take advantage of that and help Mr. John Thompson, all right. And also, um, you know, if it's a financial thing, now y'all probably seen this on my page before. I'm an online marketer, okay. I help brothers make money online, all right. That's the best way to make some money online. My terminology and my famous terminology, I put it out there all the time. Your money follows you, okay? Not you follow your money. And when your money follows you, you can be anywhere in the world, okay? You don't have to stay here in the U.S., all right? You can make your moves anytime you want. So, brothers, I just want to put that out there. And, uh, you know, whenever you're ready, um... Just let me know. I also want to give a special um, shout out to uh, my man, um, Correo, Matthew, Brian, D. I, I just want to put y'all brothers out there because y'all brothers, you know, been coming right, coming at me with, you know, all the questions, and I wanted to answer them for you. My man James, the, the X Man. I wanted to put that out there to you. Y'all brothers, keep it coming, man. Keep, you know, anything y'all want to know, I got it for you. Just keep bringing it to me, all right? This is what I, I promised y'all I was going to give y'all that special shout out. And I did, I, you know. But I had to get all my words in first. But brothers, like I said, once again, um, you know, continue to, um, support, you know, come through, ask the questions, support me, and subscribe to my channel, all right? Once again, this is Charles Tyler, sign out, all right? And I, you know, brothers, be on the lookout for the next video. Check you later.